Hey, what is up guys, it's the Phoenix here and in this video we'll be taking a look at the Orc Welder extension for Chrome. What this basically is, alright, uh, yeah, we all know the internet is full of cat pictures. Alright, so what the Orc Welder extension means and does is it repacks your Android app uh, APKs into a form that can run on the desktop browsers. So what this uh, basically turns out to be is that now Chrome and Android would have the same binaries. So it's going to make it more convenient for uh, Chrome to run native Android apps. This, this was uh, basically a beta project by Google uh, which was pushed in September, I guess, and uh, uh, they they made a final release uh, of a more stable one uh, this week. So you have the website uh, to get started with Org. I'm gonna put the links down there in the description right below the subscribe button. So let's just get started with this bad boy. All right. So what we need is definitely your APK, a uh, Mac, a PC or a Linux uh, environment and you need the Arc Welder app. So you need to go ahead to the Chrome web store and get the Arc Welder app. I've already downloaded it and uh, it says it's 11.83 MB here but uh, it's gonna take uh, around about a uh, hundred or so megabytes. It's uh, the first installation is a little heavy, so don't freak out. All right. Uh, so after you've installed this uh, extension, you just gotta go ahead and launch the app. All right, and there it says Arc Welder needs to write files to a directory on your file system. Please choose a directory. Let's do that. Let's name it or caps. All right, and now we need to go ahead and add our APKs. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, minimize these. And I'm sorry if my desktop's a mess. Can't help it. All right, this this looks good. All right, so just click on this button and uh, go ahead and uh, load up your APK. I'm just gonna go ahead and look for Instagram. All right, shouldn't take that long. All right, you see it says the orientation has been set to landscape. I don't know why. Uh, form factor, this should be phone. I've never seen Instagram on a, on a tablet. There we go. Instagram just loaded and let's just hope it runs. Alright, so it is running. So I'm just gonna go ahead and log in to my account and uh, boom. Wow, this does work. And uh, wow, the scroll is really good. All right, see actions work. Can I comment? Yeah, it seems I can. Nice, bro. So Google did a good job. All right, so let's just go ahead and load up some other app. But uh, before you do that, uh, there's a slight glitch. And that is, you can just test one app on to org at a time. So in order to test another, you just have to uninstall the one that you just tried out. So in order to, let's say, test Angry Birds right now, I'm going to have to uninstall Instagram. So Angry Birds and Rio for sure. And uh, this would uh, this would tell me to uninstall uh, uh, the uh, Instagram app. But I'm gonna go ahead and tell you how to run multiple apps in just about a minute.
it should start now and this is pretty cool amazing this is pretty and um can we play all right let's just dude the frame rate is awesome H how can this be possible anyways nailed it all right so that was uh, how to test your app onto arc but what if you want to test out multiple apps at the same time so i'm gonna tell you how to do that go back go ahead and add your apk let's say vine open it okay and click on download zip all right uh, save it onto a suitable folder i'm gonna go ahead and put it in my android studios project now go to that folder um extract that uh zip file cool and go to chrome click on settings then hit hit on to extensions hit on load unpacked extensions go to the folder where you've extracted it uh, that's my Android studio project click that folder hit OK and uh, there you go you've got wine here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install Twitter and uh, We'll follow the same process. Um, download zip and click on the Android Studios project and hit save. And we can close Arc. We can go ahead and first have that folder extracted and Go to Chrome, load unpacked extensions, Android Studio projects, Twitter, and boom. All right, so now you can go ahead and hit on your Chrome launcher and run those apps right from there. So let's launch uh, Twitter and Vine from the Chrome launcher side by side. And let's hope it works. And that's pretty dope. Ain't it? So that's just gonna be it for this tutorial. And I'm pretty sure no one's gonna use blue stacks anymore so don't forget to go ahead and uh, hit a thumbs up for uh, this video if you liked it and stay subscribed stay connected peace out